the Shark Deck. I'm Johnny Mack with five good news stories. Good news if you're a Harry Styles fan. There's a Harry's Village walking tour if you want to learn all about Harry Styles. They'll hand you a map and show you the route of the two-mile tour, which takes an array of spots made famous by having once been part of Harry Styles' life. Fans will visit the bakery where Harry worked as a teen, then they'll head over to Fortune City Chinese, where he once took Taylor Swift. (laughs) Inside the bakery, there's a life-size photo of Harry Styles on show, and there's memorabilia for sale, no shocker there, such as aprons, sweets, and even Harry Styles' wooden spoons. The walking tour continues to the Twimelo Viaduct. Fans can sign their name in the same spot where Harry once signed his name in One Direction's film, This Is Us. The official walking tour is put together by locals who were overwhelmed with visitors and they were worried about tourists getting hurt because they were walking on narrow country paths with no pavements. Railway ticket officer Graham Blake waits at the train station with maps and encourages visitors to walk through residential areas and then follow the River Dane to visit the viaduct. He says the tour is great. It puts Holmes Chapel on the map. I've had to create a Facebook page for all the fans. We've had fans visit from Uruguay, Japan, Colombia, Canada, and we've had loads of people from America. Harry has friends who live here, so I know he comes back to visit when he can. Everyone here has times for the fans, and everyone has a story about Harry. It's such a small village. Everybody knows everyone. A guest on Antiques Roadshow was left stunned after they took items they found at a dump to get valued. Expert Mark Smith checked out some of Sir Winston Churchill's belongings that were found in a dump. The items included a black top hat, a glasses case, letters from the staff, and a photograph of Winston Churchill. Mark said if the relics were at an auction, he would have thought they were fake, but the items were accompanied by letters confirming a link to Churchill, and he valued the box of goods at a whopping 10,000 pounds. The guest said, I've got loads of letters, over 200 letters from the same load, and it was from a mother to her son. The mother used to work for Winston Churchill. She was a cook, and the husband was a butler for Winston Churchill as well. She used to write her son every day about the daily goings of Winston Churchill, what he was getting up to, and how he was feeling, and interesting stuff about him. Mark said, we think your box is worth 10,000 pounds. The crowd gasped, and the guest said, oh my God. I am Patty Callahan Henry. I am Mary Kay Andrews. I'm Kristen Harbell. And I'm Christy Whitson Harvey. Friends in Fiction is led by four longtime friends, the four of us, with more than 75 published books between us. Through in-depth conversations and interviews, we discuss the books we've written, the books we're reading, and the art of storytelling. We are here with endless stories to support indie bookstores, authors, librarians, and readers just like you. We are always seeking innovative ways to introduce dynamic voices and trends in publishing. On this channel, you will find hundreds of episodes with some of your favorite authors, including the four of us with our new releases, as we reveal the stories behind the stories, offer writing tips, and talk about the creation of novels, memoirs, and nonfiction titles. So, if you love books and you're curious about the writing world, you are in the right place. You can listen to Friends and Fiction on any major streaming platform. Hey, good news. France will pay you to repair your clothes. It's a new plan to subsidize repairs to clothing and shoes in order to cut waste and planet heating pollution. Under the scheme, discounts ranging from 6 euros to 25 euros will be available depending on the complexity of the repair. For instance... A simple piece of restitching will get six euros, while resoling a pair of shoes will qualify for a 25 euro rebate. Congratulations to 21 year old Harvey Price. Harvey has set the world record for a longest drawing of a train. Harvey drew a 21.3 meter long picture of a Thames Link engine and carriages, which is his favorite train. His mom said, I'm absolutely thrilled for Harvey. Can't believe he's got his own Guinness World Record. It's fantastic. He worked so hard on completing the drawing, and I think he's done amazingly well. We officially have a Guinness World Record holder in the family, and everybody's so happy for him. And good news, we found your tarantula. A spokesperson for Travelodge said, Every year, a lost and found inventory report provides plenty of revelations, from deeds to a $2 million house, a set of 24-karat gold Indian gods, a pet tarantula, and even exclusive yogurt flavors, which has not been launched to the public. It's evident what a cross-section of people stay in our hotels. Here are some of the items. A premarital agreement. A wooden foot. A life-size cardboard cutout of Josie Essex. A suitcase full of Prince George memorabilia. A five-foot unicorn made from flowers. A Persian chinchilla cat. You forgot your cat? A 65-year-old bonsai tree. A gingerbread village with all its residents. An urn with father's ashes. And, of course, a 
pet tarantula. <laughs> Uh, that's your five good news stories for today. Follow the show for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get your shows. Don't forget your tarantulas. See you next time. Hi, I'm Mark Francis and host of a new podcast, The Messy Effect. Join us as we take you into the exciting new world of Argentine soccer phenomenon, Lionel Messi. And his new life at Inter Miami will bring you into the glitz, the glamour, the star-studded events, along with the exciting journey to a new world of U.S. soccer and international football with news and stories three times a week. Come along for the ride as Messi, Miami, and Major League Soccer experience the journey of a lifetime. Get the Messi effect wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs>